What's up everyone, Cody here with a long overdue follow up. In this video I'll try to address some of the questions I've seen in my previous video, such as lag, how to record on widescreen TVs, and what are my settings for 1080p on YouTube. We'll start off with lag. Whenever you're dealing with a larger video size or trying to add a commentary to some gameplay you've already recorded, it can really, really mess up Arcsoft Showbiz. But there's an easy fix. If you go ahead and press Control, Alt, and Delete, you'll go down to Task Manager, you'll come up with this little box, and you'll want to move over to the Processes tab. And once there, you'll search around until you find Arcsoft Showbiz, and right click that, go down to Set Priority, and change that over to High. This way, the CPU usage is diverted over Arcsoft, and it's not having to deal with all those background processes. Anyways, when you're trying to record on a widescreen TV, you'll notice that sometimes you'll have little black borders on the side of the videos once they're complete. And if you want to change that to where it's full screen all the way, you'll go ahead and go over to Options, Preferences, and you'll change the aspect ratio over to 16 by 9 instead of 4 by 3. And that should remove all the black borders on your videos. And now then, my current settings for YouTube. I'll just go ahead and slide down this video down here and go over to Produce. And once there, you'll go ahead and click Create File. And you notice all my settings here, such as MPEG-1. I cannot stress how much better this is over AVI. On MPEG-1, I'll just go ahead and bring up this video. These are both the same video right here, this 17 and this right here. On the, met, on the uh, MPEG version, this one is 317 megabytes, and it's 10 minutes and 50 seconds long. And right here, this is the AVI version of the exact same video. As you can see, it's a lot larger, 2.51 gigs. And it also took about 17 minutes and 14 seconds to render. Now, the math on that is pretty astounding. On this one, the AVI, this is about eight times larger than the MPEG version. And it takes about, and it takes a little over one and a half times longer to render. So anyways, you go over here, MPEG-1, choose that. And then you go over to setting and quality and make sure that you have that on high quality of course then once you go in there go in settings and you'll make sure that all things are kinda up to par of mine real quick such as video resolution change that over to 1920 by 1080 and then uh, 29.97 frames per second and then over here you make sure that's at 5 uh, megabits per second you can change it if you want but for me I found that this really works and then of course go to audio sample rate at 48 kilohertz Alright, anyways, that should about fix all your problems, for now at least.